Dana and Jess in the morning. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Let's get started. Good morning. I listen every morning. 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Good morning. It's Dana and Jess. Uh, today being Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. Weather-wise, uh, a nice, mild, I don't know, seasonable day. We would expect sunny and breezy with a high of 68 this time of October. However, getting up in the morning, it is cold. That's right. Oh, we could see temperatures near freezing overnight tonight slash tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Jess and I, we are big fans of uh, comfortable warm weather. That's right. Unfortunately, it seems like those days are going to be behind us. Yeah. Never get used to the season change no. to the freezing cold. Mm-mm. Uh, coming up on the show this morning, we have a question. What word do you always have difficulty spelling? Give a short answer. <laughs> By trying to spell it and tapping the <laughs> chat button on the KFR app. Oopsie. Uh, also, we have Tip Tuesday. You write in and ask for advice. We give it. Uh, best of luck when that happens. <laughs> I can't guarantee any success. Uh, also, we would love to throw money at your face. Yes. Today's first code for thirty grand in your hand is coming up at 8 a.m. And don't forget, this is the final week for that contest. Yeah. So we just have... Uh, Four days and counting left for that. Math, get those codes as yeah. much as you can. 30 grand, changing your life. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, uh, again, we talked about this, I think, maybe yesterday. Uh, the, the hurricane situation in Florida, as they are trying to clean up debris from Hurricane Helene. Now this new hurricane looks like it's going to be hitting um, Tampa as a category Five, yes, it's even bigger terrible. than the last hurricane, and mm-hmm. it is looking pretty awful. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if you, uh, I, I'm going to be looking for certain resources here in Michigan that are helping and providing for Florida. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's got to be more than thoughts and prayers. We got to come together as a community and help others because I have found in my time living in Michigan and living in Florida, the Florida Michigan connection is bizarre. Yeah, it's. Well, I mean, because we're leaving to go there in the, <laughs> you know, in the uh, winter. And I, yeah, we, I feel like we all have family down we, there. We do. Yeah. So we definitely Oof. need to look out for one another. So that's rough. We'll keep an eye on that. But first, let's get the show started and, uh, I don't know, start this day off on a bright note. Here that's we right. go. 103.3 WKFR-FM and WKFR-FM HD1. Creek, a Town Square Media Station. For your love life, nobody's more qualified to help than a guy that's been engaged five times. It's hashtag Tip Tuesday on 103.3 KFR. Dear Dana, my friend is down on his luck and has applied to work at the company where I work. He asked me to put in a good word with the boss. I'm torn about what to do. I desperately want to help, but I know I can't recommend him because of his past track record. His bad attitude has gotten him in trouble at previous jobs. He is practically begging me to help. What should I do? Whew. Uh, I'm always telling people that honesty is the best policy, except for right now, uh, kind of. So have an honest conversation with your boss about the situation and then lie to your friend and say that you put a good word for him at your work. Uh, remember the time that you told your friend you lied to him and said that you liked his girlfriend? <laughs> this is the same thing, right? Yeah. This, I, is, this is the same thing. I think, you know, like you said, tell him to make a little white lie. It's not going to really hurt anything. It's hard to put in a recommendation for somebody and then they mess up at the job and they leave and you're still there and they yep. never want to believe you again. So to recommend someone. So it, it could hurt you professionally, which isn't going to do either of you any good. Yeah. So save his feelings. I'm sure your employer would appreciate your honesty just by saying, hey, please don't say anything to him. But no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's recommend him to our competitors. Yeah. Aww. And uh, best of luck with that friendship. <laughs> Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question, silly little question. (laughs) What word do you always have difficulty spelling? Give us your answer right now by tapping that chat button on the KFR app. You can also call us at 978-1033. But let's start with you, Jess. Separate. I always put an E where there's an A. Same. I've always thought of it as separate, but it's separate. Yes. 
And I also have had an issue with that for most of my life. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, and I, I don't even like saying the word. <laughs> it's just one of those words. I'm like, I don't know how to spell it and I don't want to say it. I'm going to sound <laughs> old, but I mean, I'm old. So <laughs> kids these days, they don't know. They, yeah. They're they rarely writing stuff down. Yeah, they're getting the auto correct yes. or the red line yeah. every time they type it. You not, don't have to go look it up anywhere. It's not fair. I know. Uh, Tara says success and inconvenience. I do have an issue sometimes with the word inconvenience. A lot of, I get the E's and I's mixed up sometimes. Yeah. Success is another one too. Stacy says, responded to Tara, actually. There's a chant that goes S-U-C-C-E-S-S. That's the way we spell success. <laughs> Say that a few times out loud and you should remember. That's a great way Somebody to Somebody was that. a cheerleader in high school. Yes. Have a... Have a little song. That helps. Robin says, it seems many people have difficulty spelling definitely. Mm. I'm also one of the... I'm certain to think I can't spell anything. (laughs) Uh, Robin goes on to say, just remember the word finite is in it. There is no A. Mm. And by the way, that does help because that is my issue. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Look at... So I thought we were just going to have a lot of relatable things, but so far we've had two people help us spell two words. I love that for us. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> the audience is making us smarter, yeah. which isn't uncommon. Uh, what word do you have difficulty spelling? You can call us at 978-1033 or tap that chat button on the KFR app with your answer. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question, silly little question. What word do you always have difficulty spelling? Tap that chat button on the KFR app or call us at 978-1033 with your answer. Uh, I don't mean to brag, but I... I was a spelling bee champion in first grade. Wow. That was a couple of years ago. Uh... (laughs) I have such an issue with these words that uh, just before we turn the mics on, (laughs) on our morning show planner, we have this thing that we share on on both of our computers so we can see what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jess points out that I have misspelled (laughs) one of the words (laughs) in the planner, which is proof (laughs) in the pudding, baby. Yeah. February. Okay, so February and restaurant are two words that I constantly am unsure of when when I'm writing them down. Yeah. Um, have to rely on that red line or autocorrect, right? Sure. February is clearly the word that I cannot get right. I, and once it's correct, I'm like, no, that that's not right. It looks I so know. wrong. And then you had me second guess it. I'm like, wait a second. Is it? Because the, that R there is so random. Who February, did this? Fe, who, who says February? I'm going to get a time machine, <laughs> go back in time, and I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to do something bad to the person that <laughs> decided February will be spelled like this. Yeah, and you know what? This, And then we wonder why it's so difficult to learn this language because there's so many weird little things going on. It is weird. So yeah. what, what word do you always have difficulty spelling? Please bail me out here so I don't look bad. <laughs> Tap that chat button on the KFR app. Well, Eric says I would type it here, but I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> See? Eric learned before I did. Yeah. Andrew says, say it out loud. Wed... Ness Day. Okay. <laughs> Wednesday is a weird one. It's another one of those with the February you're just randomly throwing it's just in. Why? <laughs> why? Like, yeah. Lori says aluminum. She says, I can't say it very well either. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's valid. All right. We'll keep those answers coming in. What word do you always have difficulty spelling? Tap that chat button on the KFR app with your answer. Dan and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question, silly little question. What word do you always have difficulty spelling? Give us your answer by tapping that chat button on the KFR app. Brenda says beautiful and perseverance. Perseverance is a tough one. Yeah. Um, and the, the beautiful when you there's I get that because full is two L's. So you just want to add another L. Yeah. Um, and having those three vowels next to each other gets confusing. Yeah, that, that, that's a thing. Vance says Phoenix 
or is it Phoenix? So he spelled it P-H-O-E-N-I-X and then P-H-E-O-N-I-X. So It's Pahonix. Um, <laughs> that, yeah, that, that's, it's that's a weird it. one. Pahonix, it's, yeah. It's another one where we're just like, why? Uh-huh. Every, everything about this. Yeah. P-H and then the O-E and the, come on, why are we doing this to ourselves? Yeah. Any word that starts with a P-H and ends with an X is just leaves me with a question mark. <laughs> Kelly, oh, this is a good one. I, I will never spell this one correctly unless it's an accident. Conscience. <laughs> Con science. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Unless Con you science. have a problem spelling science and then there we are with that. Well, so. that, that feels uncomfortable that conscience <laughs> is conscience. Yeah. But, Doo-doo-doo-doo. and also you have conscience and conscious. So <sighs> I feel like those two, you kind of. Yes. Have, that does that mess me up. That starts messing me up. Melissa says scissors. Yeah. <laughs> that is a weird one. Uh-huh. Again, uh, why is there a C there? <laughs> and why is it where yeah. it is? I, I don't understand. Uh-huh. And and can you name another word with that many letters that has four S's? Because yeah. I don't think you can. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, some of this made me feel better and other parts of it just made me feel dumber. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, keep the answers coming in or just chat with us in real time anytime by tapping that chat button on the KFR app. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Dana and Jess tell bad-behaving celebrities where to go with Have a Seat on 103.3 KFR. Miami Beach city officials are in final negotiations to take back Diddy's key to the city. What? The decision comes in the wake of his arrest and indictment. (laughs) Imagine Mm. being such a monster that a city with nearly half a million residents Mm. is sinking into the ocean as we speak. But their main priority right now is getting the key to the city away (laughs) from you. Diddy have a seat. Yeah, when you put it that way. I love that they're in final negotiations as if this has been an ongoing debate. Diddy is not a good representative for any city, not even Miami. Have a seat, Diddy. Do you really have to negotiate to get the key to the city? It's just a symbolic thing anyway, right? Just give it, take it back, right. It's just like when a college gives someone an honorary degree, then they do something bad and they take the honorary degree back. It's so easy. (laughs) Miami, do we have to do everything? Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Southwest Michigan's number one hit music station, 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Good morning. It's Dana and Jess here. Super excited about Petaween 2024. Love seeing those little animals in costumes. It's so adorable. Right now, if you go to WKFR.com or the KFR app, you will see the Petaween article. Click that bad boy because uh, we have pictures from all the contestants of previous years in there. That's dogs, cats, goats, any pet you can think of dressed up in costumes from right here in Southwest Michigan. Mm -hmm. And we're asking for you to submit yours. So far, we've only received two submissions, which means the chances of your pet getting their paws on a prize is pretty high. But we need more nominations now. Absolutely. So click the Petaween button at WKFR.com. Fill out the short form. Upload a photo of your pet in a costume and click submit. And voting begins October 14th. So just a few days. Get your pet's photo uploaded now. The pet with the most votes wins a Pet Supplies Plus $50 gift card courtesy of Harvest Moon Acres. It's going to be awesome. And we get to enjoy all your photos of uh, pets in costumes. Yes, it's awesome for us. I like it a lot. So let's honestly think about us. That's what's important. (laughs) Better Way 2024. It's powered by Harvest Moon Acres and 103.3 KFR. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. The 103.3 KFR Facebook Friend of the Day. The Facebook Friend of the Day is sponsored by Texas Corners Pharmacy. Your neighborhood pharmacy is locally owned and operated with delivery services and vaccinations available. And our Facebook Friend of the Day today is Vance G. Harris. (laughs) The headline, Michigan State University is selling a Halloween costume that's pure nightmare fuel. And Vance had this to say. I just thought wearing a Michigan State t-shirt was nightmare fuel. (laughs) 
Oh, Vance, you you know. You get nothing. Good day, sir. So many nothings. He's such a show off. Yeah. Just a just a house full of nothings. Mm-hmm. Boy, that sounded rude. Well, Vance, thank you so much for being a part of the uh, KFR Facebook page and for being a part of the show. You are today's KFR Facebook friend of the day. <laughs> Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body. A full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Good morning. Dana and Jess here, but it's time for us to go. That's right. Another chance to win, though, with 30 grand in your hand. That's coming up at 10 a.m. Get that code. You only have so many days to get in and get that money. I can't believe the contest is almost over. Mm-hmm. So many $100 winners, but at the end of this, there will be one $30,000 winner. Could be you. Good luck to everyone. Uh, coming up on the show tomorrow, Wednesday Wisdom. We'll be dropping knowledge on you. I would love to tell you what it's going to be about, but I don't even know yet. So <laughs> we're going to learn together. <laughs> Wednesday right. Wisdom tomorrow. But for now, we're going to leave. Bye. Have a great day and uh, be nice to people. If you miss Dana and Jess in the morning, we got you covered. The 103.3 KFR Morning Show can be streamed and downloaded and abused wherever you get your podcast. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality.